Here is a table made by downloading all of the VAERS data. The left hand column shows the batch number for each vaccine lot. The right hand column shows the total number of adverse reactions for each batch. In between we have all of the states in the USA and these columns show the number of adverse reactions in each state for any one particular batch. Now as we look down we can see that most of the batches produce only one or two adverse reaction reports. In fact 70% of the batches for, of the vaccine only produce one adverse reaction report and 80% of the vaccine batches only produce one or two adverse reaction reports so the vast majority of the vaccine batches are harmless. However the purpose of this study was to find out if there is any significant variation in the toxicity of the batches. And as I explored down, I came across anomalies, namely that some of the batches were thousands of times more toxic than the average batch. Here is an example. What we see here is a string of numbers across the screen. This indicates that this particular batch is producing adverse reactions in every single state across the USA in sharp contrast to the harmless batches which may produce just one or two adverse reactions in just one or two states. So there is a very sharp distinction between the geographical spread and incidence of the adverse reactions caused by these more toxic batches and also the level of toxicity is between 1000 and 5000 times the toxicity of the average batch. Once again, here is an area of harmless batches and as you can see in the right hand column, um, the number of adverse reaction reports is almost always just one. And interspersed with these harmless batches are these more toxic batches which produce the string of numbers across the screen and this particular one has a toxicity which is about 1300 times the toxicity of an average batch. And these toxic batches occur at irregular intervals throughout the table. Now you might be wondering what is the frequency of these toxic batches? Well, um, no, about half a percent of the batches, which is one in 200 of the batches, has a toxicity of between 1,000 and 5,000 times the toxicity of the average batch. So about one in 200 of the batches are highly toxic. So when you take a vaccine, there is a one in 200 chance that it will come from one of the highly toxic batches. These batches consistently produce death, disability, and a high rate 
of adverse reactions across every state in the USA, which indicates that these adverse reactions are caused by the batches, they're caused by the vaccines, rather than by the health status of the recipients.